Hey guys, what's up? Redstone Ranger here, and today we're going to be kind of revisiting that forest map seed, uh, the survival map that I showed you guys. I decided that I really liked this seed, and uh, I liked to make it a hybrid of creative and survival, so I can place this as a survival map on uh, multiplayer and not have a bunch of griefers and children that don't have any skill join my map and come blow it up um that's gonna be the main showcase is that right there uh you start where the video started and walk your way over here i have a nice torch path leading to it if i let you in remember this is survival and if i see you trying to break down my door you're out but if you're cool you get to enjoy the map that's what's awesome so, once I let you in, you are allowed into the main house, where I have some dogs and some random storage. Uh, up here, there's not much. It's got some beds and some other random storage. But, the magic really happens when you get to the top of the tree house here. And I, did be, uh, I built this off of a natural tree. This was survival, all this kind of stuff in here, but you know... Once I decided to make it better, I don't know who did that, but whatever. Once I decided to make it better, um, it kind of made me want to showcase this even more and get some uh, survival players on here online and see what they think of it because it's always nice to see reactions. So this is the only way into that building over there. That's the safe house. I'm going to call it the nether lab because there is a nether portal in it. Uh, this train cart will lead you all the way into it, and it's the only way, like I said, into the base. Otherwise, good luck punching through obsidian. You're not going to do it. But once you're in, you have a portal, plenty of uh, stoves that I have placed full coal blocks in, which basically will cook till the end of your lifetime. So you never have to restock those. I got a brewing station that actually accesses the whole lake that you can see is surrounding this. And I also have it blocked off underneath so people can't swim in. But that's to get water for brewing. And it's an endless supply of water. I have all kinds of storage, wood, building blocks, and um, a bunch of iron blocks basically to make, you know, armor so people can build, you know, whatever they need to do. Unfinished map. I gotta finish that soon. Someone destroyed it. Someone came in here with TNT. Thought it was funny. Thank God I made it out of obsidian. All they did was blow up everything inside. And all my windows. But uh, we got an enchanting table. We got a uh, anvil. And some other things. Here's another room. Don't know what to do with it. Might make this a collaborator's room. Dedicate it to one of them. Because my private room is actually up here. I'm having problems with my door feature. I gotta fix it right now. Or actually, it looks like it's working again. Let's see. All right, cool. Yeah, it works. Once I t close the door from inside, people cannot unlock it from the outside. Um, which is this switch. So if I'm outside and I lock it, I can lock it and open it from that and get in. But once I'm inside and I lock it from that inside switch. That switch becomes useless, so people cannot literally open this door, whatever they, you know, try to do. So, that's awesome. I have this little walkway so I can shoot arrows at people I don't like. Uh, I get a lot of guests that just try to come in and steal my shit. So, here's my brewing station. Here's my water for the brewing station. Um, it's got all kinds of stuff that you need for brewing. And then also, these are all the bottles that I've brewed. So, it's already kind of set. Um, also in my room is rare items. Food. Building materials. Random shit. And wood. So basically all the essentials. I don't really have to leave this house. Very soon I'm going to be making this a uh, a farm. I'm going to make this patio a little bigger and make it a uh, suspended farm 
that's unaccessible unless you literally are let in by the treehouse over there. And then after you are in the treehouse, you have to take the minecart from the top of the treehouse all the way just to get inside here. So, yeah, I'm going to make this house fully sustainable so I don't even need to leave it if I don't want to. Oh, one more thing. These are my uh, arrow cannons right here. They are fully stocked with arrows. This is my repeater circuit out here. It's a simple circuit. I can show any of you guys how to make it. I also have a video on how to make it already. Check it out. But you hit this switch right here and watch those arrows fly. Look at that. So yeah, anybody trying to climb up my stairs or try to get in, you know, generally is not going to have a good time. Um, that's about it, all I want to do. I'm trying to recruit some collaborators to help me build on this and help me uh, improve this map. It's not completely finished. There is a uh, nether fortress if you go through the nether portal, so that's also fun. But right now, I just want to kind of finish this house area and finish the tree house. And if you're a dedicated collaborator, I would love to have you on my maps. I will put your name on the map and as well on the videos. Your channel and on uh, your online Minecraft name will be shared as well. So, it's a good boast. It's a good bonus. Um, you can boast to all your friends. So, yeah. Come help me with this. It'll be fun. Thanks for watching, guys.